There's been a huge drop in production by Scotland's fish farms, and the latest annual figures have triggered a row about the mortality rate at salmon farms around the country. Here's Ian Ramage. The latest official data reveals a reduction of almost 18% in the output of Scottish farm salmon last year, a loss of 30,000 tonnes of fish. Critics who've long complained about the sighting and environmental impact of fish farms claim that it's linked to lice infestation and infectious diseases, which they say are ravaging the sector. Scottish Salmon Watch reckons the mortality rate is almost a quarter based on independent monitoring. While the Scottish Government questions that claim, another industry observer says the steady flow of dead fish is indisputable. One section of the salmon farming industry that is certainly in, um, increasing, and that is the transport of morts. And it doesn't say much for Scotland PLC. The, there are fleets of trucks going up and down the country transporting morts to and from incinerators, etc. No one from the industry's trade body was available for interview. In a statement, it said production remained strong, driven by focused investment by farmers. It attributed the dip in production to what it called a one-off adjustment by farmers on stocking the year before to ensure control over biological issues witnessed in previous years. And the result was fewer fish in the water to harvest. Mortality rates are now reported each month. According to the survey, sea lice last year were at their lowest levels for six years. Royal Economy Secretary Fergus Ewing conceded the numbers were disappointing. He pledged to work to ensure improved fish health to maintain consumer confidence. Ian Ramage, STV News. Aberdeenshire Council.